What's going on guys? This is JT here. Welcome back to Diablo Immortal. During our Twitch stream today, we found out that there was a Reddit post from a community leader that works for Blizzard. And this is the post that you see right here. So we're going to go ahead and read this together. And then also I'm going to give my feedback on it and let you guys know how I feel. So we got... We will have our first update here in the next few weeks as we get to the tail end of the current battle pass. We will detail out some of our content in the post. Expectations for the next update will focus on the battle pass as well as some features, fixes, etc. As we've noted in the past, there will be bigger gameplay content features will be free for users, so expect more to the story and so forth in the future for everyone to experience. Now, I know a lot of you guys aren't used to mobile gaming, but one thing that is really cool about mobile games is they're constantly updating, bringing out new content, new dungeons, new everything, right? So what I wanted to do talking about this is give my advice just in case anybody from Blizzard or Netties is listening to any of these videos on what I would love to see in the future and also talk about this. So obviously, they're going to be coming out with a new battle pass, right? So that means a new $5 battle pass gives you that extra experience, all the extra buffs, every Everything you need to help you grow within Diablo Immortal, right? No doubt about that. They're probably going to have a couple of pay-to-play bundles in there as well. I wouldn't doubt it. So expect a couple more bundles. I know I'll be purchasing them. I don't know about you guys, but I'll probably be purchasing them. As you guys know, if you don't know, y'all need to come check out the Twitch channel. It is always popping off. We have an amazing community over there on Twitch. It is twitch.tv slash JT is all business. I am grinding this game out until I get a max character. As you can see at the top of the screen, currently I have 7,132 resonance. The max resonance in this game is 7,000. 560. So what how I feel about the new update that's coming, I feel like they're gonna it's really important to fix the bug fixes, right? First things first, like the computer port in this game has still a little bit of issues here and there. So seeing bug fixes is definitely gonna be nice. Also seeing new gameplay, new dungeons, new quest, because I feel like even whenever I've done the shadow quest over and over, it's kind of doing the same quest over and over and the same with bounties as well. So switching that up would be pretty nice in my opinion to bring new, new features to the game. But here's one thing that I want super bad for this game. And I think it would be absolutely amazing. So this is what I want the most. I want some sort of arena to where you can queue up with your party, whether it's 2v2, 3v3, or 4v4, and whenever you step foot in that arena, I want everybody to have the same power. So same life, same health, same resonance, same gems, whatever the case may be. I want everybody to be on the exact same playing field and have that separate from the battlegrounds, right? I think that is perfectly fine in this game. I do not think the pay to play players would be mad about that at all. It would show more of a skill type arena, more so like WoW, because I used to be a heavy WoW arena player back in the day. I absolutely loved arena. One of my favorite things to do. Another thing I would love to see in this game is uh, Warband Battlegrounds, the option to queue up for Battlegrounds with your Warband. I think that would be absolutely amazing. Imagine, imagine if you could gather up seven of your friends, queue up for Battlegrounds, and go up against other Warbands. I think that would be super epic. So those are the two main things I would love to see. Also, I would love to see free-to-play get, or not free-to-play, but all players in general, have an opportunity some way, somehow, to get more Legendary Crest. So these bad boys right here. Now, whether it is through dungeon running, I mean, the goblins in this game give absolutely nothing, right? You kill a goblin, you chase those goblins down. They don't even drop legendaries, right? Have the goblins have like a 10% chance or some sort of chance to drop a legendary crest. Also, whenever you run dungeons, have a 5% chance to drop another legendary crest through those dungeons. I feel like that would only improve the game. No doubt about that. However, I am massively looking forward to this update. And like I said, you guys need to check out the Twitch channel. That's at twitch.tv slash JT is all business. I'm live there every single day starting at 2 p.m. Eastern and for about like 10 hours or longer pretty much every day as well. So come hang out, come have some fun and hope to see you guys there. Peace. If my dog Myla catches this frisbee, you have to subscribe. Myla, you ready, baby? Don't let that in down, baby. What you got, Myla? Woo! Don't forget to hit that bell as well.